Okay, hello family. Welcome to um, another segment again with Emmy John. And today we're going to be looking at major scales and why major scales are very, very important for your finger flexibility and finger um, freedom. So, let me use the metronome. So, so, I'm playing on a 110 BPM. I do. So that is how the major scale naturally should be. So it is very important you know how to play your major scale on all 12 keys because it allows you and give you fin um, finger freedom. Yeah, normally at the beginning it wasn't easy, but I feel this is one exercise that we must have many pianists have looked down on. But it's very very important. So you must if you must really be efficient in your finger playing, especially using Hanon exercises. But apart from Hanon exercises, I feel one basic exercise that as pianists, we should look out for more is being able to express your major scale finger exercise constantly on the check. Um, when I started playing piano, um, in my practice guideline for every day, I make sure I run my major scales on all keys every day. Yeah, so let's say I want to practice a lot of stuff. The first thing I must work on is my major scale. So I do that to put me in check to make sure that my finger, my fingering, sorry, is still okay, and I make sure that um, I'm being able to express myself both in time. So as we're having one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I like to use um, one end. So, so me playing in eighth notes. So I'm play, I like to play in eighth notes. I can also play in sixteen notes by making it. So stuff like that is still possible, but I love to use eight notes, eight notes. So one and two and three and four and. So I really um, encourage you take your time, work on your major scale. If you really want your playing to be sharp, very clear, you want to be able to um, express a lot of stuff, you want to have freedom over your finger. I've had a lot of persons um, writing to me complaining that I have this stuff so much. I love the way I play. Um, I love the way I tend to understand voices, but when I want to play them, I always have issues with using the right finger placement, knowing which finger to use. So I've always, my always reply to them is always this. Always make sure you work on exercises. And one exercise especially you should look out for is the major scale exercise. Because the major scale exercise will really help to shape in your finger position, especially for playing chords and for playing grace notes and movements, especially for left hand and right hand movements. So that's one thing I would really recommend for us. Take your time, look out for your major scale. Maybe you could play very well, maybe you are very flexible in all, but check your major scale. Make sure you can play your major scale on all levels of speed on the metronome. At least, at least make sure you can play your major scale on all keys comfortably with your metronome. So that is just basically what this lesson is all about. I will not take my time now to start spelling out um, on each key 
how it should be or not each key but if i have at least um so much demand for um for what do you call it for the finger for the finger placement for each of the keys then i could make a separate video for that but if you don't want that you can um make a request for other stuff so if you want to break down for each of the fingers for the major scale let me have at least 50 likes let me see your comments what do you think and how have you been running your own major scale let's know how you have been doing yours and together we can build together don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment and then don't forget to share this video and thank you for the my subscribers i really appreciate it. it's growing with time i need more subscribers do well to subscribe if you really want to be seeing much more and rich content and also don't forget our six months intensive piano training is still on where we are breaking down and currently guess what we are working on drop two in our six months intensive piano training feel free to join in anytime and understand concepts more in the way you want let me take the metronome a bit faster and then let's run it from there i'm playing on 130 bpm oh should i make it 150 bpm okay let me use 130 bpm so one two ready go So that's practically how I run mine. So I do my best to work on my major skill exercise every day, every day. So take that as a challenge. Don't forget, if you want a breakdown for each fingering for each key, mention it out in the comment section. And then let me see your like and comment. Thank you and God bless you. See you next Friday.